Hello everyone and welcome to another tester work video. Today we are going to talk about how to properly report an issue on the tester work bug tracker. We'll be going through the actual flow of reporting a bug and I already have a screenshot that shows the issue that I've encountered so that it's going to be easier for you to follow and understand what exactly I'm talking about when filling in the bug report form fields. If you look at my screen right now, you're going to see this screenshot from the WhatsApp app where the unread chats notification displays an incorrect number. So we have the number three right here, but the actual number of unread chats is Two. You can see over here the friends group chat and the Stuart family chat are unread so there's only two of them but the chats header displays the number three. This is a small display issue that I'm going to be reporting for the sake of this video. Let's move on to the bug tracker where the first thing I'm going to see is the test scope where um, it's written only display issues and this means I'm only allowed to report display issues, not functional issues and so on and so forth. So you are going to see the scope of the test, then reported bugs, where you would see bugs from other testers as well as your own bugs that you reported previously, if there are any, and the known issues list. Now, because this test is uh, just an example for you to see, there are no issues in this list. It's just a test issue that I have previously report. It's important to check the previously reported bugs as well as the known issues list before starting to report an issue so that you make sure you are not reporting a duplicate. Let's start reporting this bug. Once I've clicked report a bug, I am presented with the report a bug form on the right side of the screen. Each of these fields has an explanation on the left and this explanation is telling you what is expected of you to write in a particular field. A good short summary for our issue would be the chats header counter displays an incorrect number of unread chats. Good. It's clear, simple, easy to understand what the issue is. Moving on to the section, this is where we've encountered this bug. Obviously for us, it's the chats section. As for reproduction steps, we want to write as clear and as specific as possible what the test manager should be doing, such as to encounter the same issue as we did. First things first, launch the WhatsApp app. Now, they would need to have a bunch of messages in their chats so that they can reproduce this issue. So the next step would be receive multiple messages from multiple contacts and here let's split this into two separate steps because I was going to write another action in this step but the best practice would be to have one action per reproduction step. So let's add another step and say read one or more of the chats you received. This way, you'll have both unread chats and read chats. Good. Now, return to the chats section and observe the number displayed next to the chats header. Obviously, they would see a different number from the actual number of unread chats because this issue is as real as possible at least on our device and on our environment. Good! These are all the reproduction steps that someone needs to take to reproduce our issue. As for actual results, this is where we would write what exactly is happening in the app. This is different from the short summary in that we can include more details here whereas the short summary is, as the title says, short. So for actual results, we would write the number of unread chats displayed in the header is different from the actual number of unread chats. Let's give a little more context here and a bit more clarity and write there are only two unread chats, but the unread chat icon displays the number three. 
Good, so now we've been specific and clear about what exactly the issue is. Moving on to expected results, this is where we would write what we expected to see in the app instead of the actual issue. So uh, the expected results would be the number displayed next to the chat's header when having unread messages is the same number as the actual unread chats. So maybe this is a little bit confusing at first, but it makes sense once you read it again. So the number displayed next to the chat's header when having unread messages is the same number as the actual unread chats that you would be seeing in the chat section. Good, let's move on to severity. The severity is also explained over here on the left and we also have a video on the different severities that you can select when reporting a bug. So if you haven't done that yet, please go check it out for more explanations on each of them. For my issue specifically, I am going to select low because this is just a display issue and it's honestly, you may not even encounter it if you don't have like multiple chats going at once. Good. As for reproducibility, we are going to select always because every time we get an unread chat, the number displayed on the header is different and is incorrect. If you have an issue that is not happening every time that you perform the reproduction steps, you would be selecting something different here, such as often, rarely, or can only reproduce once. Please be specific as to how often the issue can be reproduced so that the test manager can assess your issue correctly. Let's move on to attachment. Well, I've already shown you the screenshot. I am just going to upload it here. It says incorrect badge.png. It's done. So that's good. If we had an issue where we would need to see multiple reproduction steps to be able to um, identify the issue, then I would mandatorily be uploading a video attachment showing the different screens that I need to go through before actually reproducing the issue. For my UI issue right here, it's enough that I have a screenshot. Let's move on to device information. So I've tested on Android 9 with a Samsung Galaxy S7. I will select those and I'll click report debug. All right. It says over here, the status is moderation in progress. My bug has been reported and a test manager is going to review it as soon as possible. If you have any questions about this flow or about how to report different sort of, sorts of bugs, please don't hesitate to ask us and also be sure to visit the bug reporting guidelines webpage on the tester work um, domain and we are looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.